in our algebra. And again, our direct substitution, um, sorry, that equals 1. New problem. Our direct su substitution fails us, right? Because if I plug in 1, I get 0 in the denominator. However, I notice that x cubed minus 1, well, 1 is really cubed, right? It's a cubed number subtracted from another cubed number. So therefore, by using my sum and difference technique, which is if you have a, minus a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared uh, plus 2ab plus b squared. So by using that, I can identify this is to be x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. That's plus, sorry. So by using this factoring technique and using a to be x, or a to be x and b to be 1, I've just factored out the rest of this. And what's nice about this is, again, you guys can see my division property divides those out. Right? And remember from this, what did we say our solution was? The f of 1 was undefined, but f of 1, do you guys remember the graph? I think it was 3, right? Huh? Was the limit for when we did that? Yeah, let's see. My x minus my 1. Two, one. What did I plug in wrong? <laughs> A minus B. Oh, I'm sorry. It's two. It's AB, not two AB. Sorry about that. Um, sorry about that. It's just X one. I wrote in the wrong formula. I was thinking I'm teaching, I'm teaching uh, the sum of two. I'm teaching perfect square trinomials, and and precalc. So I got confused with the two ab. So, um, so it's just gonna be x squared plus x, or it's just a squared plus ab, not two ab, ab plus b squared. So therefore, you guys can see that it does exist. It does add up to three, which is exactly what we found out. What we found it to be when we did tabular method and so forth. Yes? So is B1 negative 1? B is going to be um, 1. Why? It's because it's A, cu it's A cubed minus B cubed. OK? Kind of think of it like that. Put it like in parentheses. It's either the sum of two cubes or it's the difference.